Hello everyone and happy new year. The year is 2023. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that 2022 is over. So happy January from Mabel and Mojo who are visiting today. And the first thing we wanted to do though is we were super curious about what people did for the holiday. Some people stayed here in Hong Kong. Some people traveled around. So Mabel, Mojo and I went to our middle school to check out what was happening and whether or not they had top tips about stuff to do. So here it is. Yeah. And for our middle school sharing series, here we have Sam. Hi. I think I'm taller over the holiday. <laughs> He's so tall. Yeah. So what you do over the holidays, Sam? Anything fun or any place that you visited? I stayed here and I did what was really fun is I did quad biking Ooh. over the new territory. Very fun. Oh, awesome. Quad biking. Yeah. Okay. It's like motorbiking but with four wheels. Oh, that's so yeah. cool. Okay. And if you had a top tip for anybody who wants to do quad biking in the future, any tips? Always take it slow and don't speed up too much. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank Sam. you very much. Bye. Hi Daniel, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. And I was just curious, Mabel and I, and now Mojo, was just curious about where you went for the holiday. Um, this winter I went to Singapore and Australia, maybe the Great Barrier Reef. Oh cool. And what's your favorite activity or food that you ate there? My favorite activity was probably scuba diving with turtles. <gasps> you went scuba diving with turtles? Yep. Do you see that guys? Scuba diving with turtles. That's so cool. Yeah. And if you were going to give any tips for anybody traveling to the Great Barrier Reef at some point, what would be your top tip? Although scuba diving may be scary at first, um, don't be worried. It's pretty fun as soon as you learn the basics. There you go. There you go, guys. Scuba diving is worrisome at first, but it's super fun. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Here I am with Nathaniel, and he's sharing what he's doing for the holiday because we're super curious. So Nathaniel, what did you do for the holiday? Uh, I stayed in Hong Kong. I wish I could have gone somewhere, but I, I stayed in Hong Kong. Okay, that's fine. Hong Kong is super fun. Yes. Uh, what was your favorite activity or food oh, that you had over the holiday? Uh, I like the... I like, my favorite activity was the uh, oh, opening presents. I really enjoyed that. Oh, I love opening presents too. That's, that's excellent. Cool. And if you have a top tip for anyone who's staying in Hong Kong over the holiday, what would your top tip be? Uh, definitely go to uh, go biking in like Shanghai. Uh, no, what's it called? Uh, oh, Mong Kok. No, 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 what's it? Taiwai? No. Where's the famous place for shopping? I know, cycling. Oh, cycling? I, I go Taiwai. Hmm. But maybe we just say cycling. Cycling. Okay, go cycling in Hong Kong. Thank you, Nathaniel, and thank you for holding Mojo. Okay, bye. Now we'd love to hear from you. If you could share, turn to your partner for the next 30 seconds and maybe exchange a place that you visited. It could be anywhere here in Hong Kong. It could be the beach. It could be a restaurant. It could be somewhere in a different part of the world about something that you experienced or saw and something that you would recommend for somebody to do in 2023. Go! January has so many things this month, it's very exciting. So here's our calendar, and we only have 15 days of school in January because we have New Year's Day and then we have Chinese New Year also. So those of you who audition for the play, you're gonna watch the bulletin so that you can see that when practices begin, which is going to be on Wednesdays after school. So please make sure you read the bulletin. The other thing that we have is our librarians are doing, remember our librarians? So they're doing repopos and that's happening during library time. So they're gonna be working on that with you during library time. And finally, here's a favorite new thing, is that we are publishing our cookbook, our THS cookbook. And so we have a few videos of people who have tried those recipes at home. I'm excited to try out the pumpkin spice latte from Sophia in grade eight. I've got my pumpkin puree, my strong hot coffee, my oat milk whipping cream, my oat milk, 
Um, I have pumpkin spices, vanilla, Mexican vanilla, and sugar. So I'm excited to try it because it's a pretty chilly day. First, add two cups of milk. I used oat milk. Then add two tablespoons of pumpkin puree. Then the recipe says to do one to three tablespoons of sugar. So I put a few, cup, few tablespoons of sugar. Then one tablespoon of vanilla, half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice, and half a cup of strong hot coffee. First it says to heat the liquids, but do not boil. And then you whisk in the vanilla and the spice and the coffee. And finally, you have the option to top it off with cream. And now, the moment of truth, okay? Ah, oh, perfect. It's like a nice, hot pumpkin cookie only in a drink on this super cold day. And all super easy, as you can see, it only had about seven ingredients. So thank you so much, Sophia, and we can't wait to try so many more recipes just like this one from the Harbor School Cookbook. Mmm. I wish all of this. Okay, so here's Mojo and Mabel again, and we are here to tell you about this month's learner goal, which is being self-determined. I'm gonna put these guys down because they're getting super heavy. So being self-determined. And we have two wonderful examples of being self-determined that's happening this month. The first one is something that we call Reflection January. And Reflection January is when teachers reflect on their practice at school. So that's basically their work. And one way to help them do that is you're going to be seeing in a, in a week or two, you're going to be seeing some surveys that we're going to ask the teacher, you know, for you to fill out on your teachers so that they can look at the information. They're not going to know who wrote it. They can look at the information and say, oh, that's making me think. And maybe I want to change this or maybe I want to do more of this. So that's reflection January and it's being self-determined about improving what you're doing. The second example is introduced from this wonderful video from our athletic director, that's coach Sylvia Rupra, and he's talking about our Black Dolphin sports teams. They've been very successful, I don't know if you're aware, but here's a wonderful video from him and tells all about lots of things that have been happening with our Black Dolphins. Hi THS, Happy New Year's. Mr. Sylvia here to give you guys an update on Black Dolphin sports. So we got right into it in season one with cheerleading, wrestling, training really, really hard after a long break because of COVID. Uh, our basketball team is now taking part in the ISSF HK Silver League with some tough games against some really tough teams. Uh, but uh, our basketball team met these games with the THS spirit of resilience and grit. So awesome job to them. Now, Cross Country had their first ever race with some notable achievements. So Noah Miyake in ninth grade placed first in the U16 boys group. Uh, Marte Ling from uh, middle school placed second in the girls U14 group. Now, for fencing, Autumn Koo represented us and placed first in the HKSSF fencing tournament. Awesome job. So season two is now underway, and if you want to be part of our sports program, we're still accepting enrollment. So for cheerleading, basketball, cross country, and wrestling, uh, if you want to be part, please come find one of your PE teachers. Now, I know some of you guys might think to yourself, I don't really have what it takes to join, or you might be a little bit worried. So let me ask you guys a question. Who do you think won the grueling 50 kilometer ultra rail uh, ultra trail race called Cerro Rojo. So if you think it was this runner or this runner. So if you guess this guy, you are incorrect. All right, it was actually Lorena Ramirez from the Raramuri tribe in Mexico who won the race wearing a dress and sandals. Okay, so it does not matter where you're from or what you look like. Anybody can be an athlete. Anybody can be black dolphins sports athlete okay so if you're interested in joining come find one of your PE teachers and we'll get you signed up all right everyone have a great day bye thank you black dolphins for doing such a phenomenal job and the most important part is just for showing up as you can see from coach Silvio's words it's not about what you look like or what you're wearing it's more about whether or not you show up and that's being super self-determined 
Okay, so Mojo, Mabel, is it time for snack time yet? I think they were super tired. Have a wonderful week and year. Okay. Hi, Happy New Year!